Tabletop Tuesday is on tonight. So what did I do this morning? I left some prints on overnight on the 3D printer. So those were the start of the Agile in uh, Amphibian prototypes that I put on. I got them off the 3D print. I cleaned them up a little bit, super glued them together just to test to see if they're gonna work. I also have a few quality of life things I wanna do today. Um, I need to shower and wash my hair and in general just kind of like plan out an outfit make sure it's nice and comfy because it's going to be a long day at games plus today all right so this morning step one i'm on my laptop uh in my chair my plan this morning is to jump on blender uh and quickly just uh iterate a little bit on the frogs that i made the froggies uh aka agile amphibians the game that name is not staying but i did have to pick a name for the powerhouse museum uh showcase and that is the name that i chose on the day Okay, I'm gonna have to go bring them over just to like check the finger sizes again, but I think I need to make the divots a little bit deeper and I need to make them a little further back towards the tips um, of the fingers. Oh, sorry, away from the tips of the fingers. I also want to adjust the middle bar. Um, and yeah, so I'm hoping that even with it just a, it, it currently looks like a little bar across that has um, kind of like two curved corners that go into the feet. I think it might just stay like that for a little bit. Maybe I'll make like a little divot in the top for you to place your middle finger if you have um, smaller hands. So I'm currently making a couple different sizes uh, so that it can adjust with finger sizes. I'm still working out what I want to do with it, but the current direction is that it's going to be still a dexterity game, but it's going to be a little fun variant, kind of like um, soccer or something. So I'm just going to... I, I also want to try making... Um, a variation where instead of it being a curve bar on top because the reason that curve bar on top existed was for the sumo wrestling component where you would be attempting to knock them over um, what if you weren't knocking them over and instead it was just you had to move your fingers like this as fast as you could or, and try and like play a game like soccer or golf or something um, I think that could be a really fun thing to test and I think that the printing time would be really low because it's a quite small piece um, and then that way that the players could actually have kind of the same size uh, pieces and the bar would change in length uh, according to how big your hands are. Um, so I'm trying to make this accessible for as many people as possible. There won't be any kids there tonight, but I do think kids would enjoy this game. So I got to kind of account for any playtesters that are interested, right? And I have quite small, small hands, to be honest, um, compared to the average person, and I haven't tested on bigger hands, so I'm gonna need to print some bigger um, bigger variants as well. I do have a couple more grubs to ship out today. Actually, I only have one copy left at the time of recording this, which is crazy, because when I said I was gonna re-release them, um, yeah, I re-released them on Friday, they sold out, 75% of the copies sold out, in 24 hours so I was just blown away by the support thank you everyone and then yeah I've got one copy left now so um, I'll just keep an eye on on the notifications see if that one gets picked up today but otherwise I will ship out um, the other three today Just finished packing all the orders and they are in my handbag ready to go. 
um, and just pack some other things for Tabletop Tuesday um, ahead of time because I will likely forget if I don't do it now. Um, I reckon because there's like still like 15 minutes left on the print, I'll go have a shower now and uh, yeah, see how they turn out and then proceed from there. Yeah, these are just, they're not even attached with glue just yet, but they seem okay. I'll have to test it out once it's all glued together, I think, because um, I'm not quite sure about it just yet. And the smaller size is actually just too big for me, so I might have to reprint these. Uh, a little bit smaller for my fingers but it works well if I do um, these fingers I just don't have anything to rest it on so I'm thinking maybe if I put the body on top of the bar and make the bar slightly shorter uh, I'll have a bit more luck uh, so I went to go 3d model the next iteration of the prototype because I had the um, test I tested the one that was just a straight bar across and it felt good, it felt okay, So, um, but I definitely picked up some changes I needed to make. Modeled it up uh, and then tried to, um, yeah, basically like put it in the 3D printing converting software and it was going to take an hour and 45 minutes and I don't have an hour and 45 minutes. I need to leave and go do the podcast for two. So I'm really actually like annoyed by that. I have to, oh, 3D print is calling. Changing over filament. One sec. Trying to do this one handed. Should be able to see it actually. There it goes. Uh, I'm just gonna say continue, it's just a prototype. Usually you keep going until you don't see any of the old color and you just see the new color, which is the green. But I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. And then we have some school's plastic, which goes in the uh, graveyard. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I had to basically like get rid of a lot of what I was wanting to print and yeah, just kind of put it in the new, the new prototype in the print printer. But like this one's going to take 45 minutes instead of an hour and 45 minutes, which means I still have the tiniest bit of wiggle room if I get to it quick enough, test it and it's not right. But yeah, just in case, I think now I'm going to do EVA foam on the feet of all three of the new prototypes. So these mini ones as well it's a bit of plastic stuck to that um yeah these like these mini ones um they're not perfect but i do want to test anything i can uh on the night while i have the opportunity so i will do that and then i'll also just uh i guess get ready <laughs> i'm like half out of the shower i still need to do hair makeup outfit etc but that's not going to take an hour and a half but um yeah, I'll utilize the time while the printer's doing its thing. I only have one pair of uh, shoes in black for the new ones. These are already super glued on, and I had I, luckily I didn't super glue the other ones because they would have taken a really long time to make. Um, that was going to be a whole hour in itself, pretty much, plus another one of these that I was getting really ambitious about that, so... It is what it is. We will see what I have for tonight. And otherwise, you know, if, if things don't go ahead tonight as planned in terms of what I get to test, there's the Noble Steed work in progress night um, that's happening later. I've actually got their business card up there. You can see. Fun fact. Um, I will be trying to attend that one as well and see what people think at that event. So it's not the end of the world. And also I'll probably just be spending time vlogging and doing podcast stuff. There's some progress. My fingers are covered in super glue and I hate it. It's ugh, awful, but I'm almost done. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just going to glue the bodies on. Um, so we got this one and this one. They're rough jobs because I printed them on a low quality, but um, yeah, it's all about prototyping tonight and just making sure that I have something to test. 
I'm actually so upset these are two different sizes. That's really, really annoying because it means that, yeah, I basically am like forced to print another foot off and I have to go grab the measurements because of course I didn't save the file properly. Um, ah, I'm, I am very annoyed. <laughs> I've actually made like such a mess. I need to clean all of this up before my partner gets home. Okay, new print going, warming up. Um, this is a new guy, but the, as I was talking about before, one of the shoes doesn't fit because I printed two different sizes and I'm really annoyed about that. Um, but one of them does fit. So the other, um, the other foot is being printed now. It should be a short one, just 16 minutes, which is good. Um, and this feels kind of cool. I haven't really been able to test it properly just because there is one foot and um, my hands are still covered in super glue, which feels awful. Um, but in terms of what I'm bringing tonight, I think a few different shapes of these. Okay, it's fine. Um, and I'll bring the original and I'll bring uh, some spheres that I printed as well. But the original, uh, or the aim of today, I should say, is um, just to test movement, test how people feel about um, using their fingers in a more like quick uh, sports-like way. <clears throat> Hello. Okay, so the print went really well. Um, I went and got dressed as well and I've got an hour till I need to leave and honestly it's just not enough time to do anything properly so um, I won't be printing anything else I think. Uh, but I'll show you what I have. It's still sticky and my hands continue to get stuck in uh, super glue which is very frustrating but he is here. He looks a little funny but most prototypes look a little funny. Um, I gave him a go, and to be honest, I, I don't like it. And that's okay, um, but I'm interested to see if other people like it. And I have now a lot of different uh, prototypes for this um, game. So we have, yeah, this one. Then we have this one, the um, more recent prototype uh, Tabletop Tuesday has seen. Then we have uh, the little ones, uh, there's two different sizes of those. This one's a little bit bigger. The divots aren't as nice on that, on the um, on the feet, but it will do. I have the same ones again in different colors, so people can test those out as well. Um, and yeah, that's it. I know, like, I tested it, it didn't feel great, but I wasn't about to try and redo the whole thing with only an hour left. Uh, my apartment is now a mess and I think priority number one should definitely be um, just kind of like tidying that up, organizing myself. I still need to make sure um, the camera has like the SD card ready to go and the tripods packed, etc. So um, I just have a bit of organizing to do. I also need to do my makeup, um, which will take quite a bit of time as well. Yeah, I don't know. I feel annoyed that I didn't give myself more time, but to be honest, with so much going on and with Grub Crop re-releasing and shipping out so many orders that I wasn't expecting to get all in one go. Um, yeah, I think I've done pretty well. <laughs>